The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 43. NASDAQ's up 21. S&Ps are up uh, 250. We have the uh, gold contract down 320. Silver's off uh, 3 cents. You got uh, light sweet crude down 46 cents. 10-year note down 3 ticks, 126.29. 30-year bond off 5, 156.04. And uh, King Dollar down 16 ticks, 96.565. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the Dow Industrials. Let's see what we got out here. So leaders versus laggards. Uh, the leader out here today is Goldman. That's putting 11, point, 11 points positive into the uh, Dow Industrials. IBM's putting nine, Apple's putting eight, Nike's putting four, Disney's putting three. Taken away from it is Traveler's Insurance. That's now that's putting four negative points. Coke's putting three. United Health is putting two. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness out here. Strength is Micron Technology up by 2.5 percent. NetEase is up two. Hullage. Hullage. <laughs> Uh, Holich, oh my God, I can't pronounce his name. I can, but H O L X is up 1.4%. Uh, Baidu is up 1.4%. Taken away from it. Vidu, um, Vodafone is down 3%. You get Liberty off 1.8%. Uh, Shire is down 1.7%. And um, the second, say it in Spanish, I know I'd be better off, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We go over to the Russell uh, 2000. We take a look at the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 uh, is trading out at a price point of uh, 1397. Let's bring this back. I want to see if this is still. Yeah, so this is interesting. It's, this is over the consolidation. The top, top of the consolidation here is 1392.714. Um, we go to the IWM. We take a look at the IWM. Now, the IWM is probably just over this also. Yeah, it is. So the, I, the IWM, we're trading at uh, 139.22 and 138.82 uh, would be the lower trading range. Some of the higher volume stocks out here, um, and we'll see whether it's going to be a high or uh, lower volume market. We have Bank of America up 25 cents, U.S. Steel up 57 um, Apple's up a buck 29, Nvidia's up a buck 50, um, Rite Aid's up nine cents. You got uh, inside some of the Dow stocks. Okay, you got uh, Boeing up 26 cents, Exxon Mobil's up 12. Let's go over to the uh, oil patch for a second because what we do have is that we're going to have oil numbers coming out at 10:30. So right now. We have crude down nine tenths of one percent. You're trading at forty seven ninety. This thing's been having a hard time holding price. But it did do yesterday. Interesting. So yesterday, you know, we got to a price point of forty of forty eight fifty four. That was coming into the downdraft from the 25th. And that's stopped us, right? And it's tracks, but that gets some decent volume. But you're not having the volume out here today. This thing looks like it wants to test 47.33 before it wants to go higher. If we take a look at the uh, XLE, XLE yesterday had a bounce at light volume. We're at 65.92, 66.03 is the high today. The high of yesterday was 6609. We'll see whether that gets tested. Uh, let's go over to the financials. We take a look at the financials, the XLF. Uh, XLF is up uh, 13 cents right now, 23.51. Go to JP Morgan. What we have with JP, excuse me, folks. 
JP Morgan, yeah, this is, this is still in trouble. JP Morgan, uh, you come down on uh, 28 million shares yesterday, going up on 12. This is going to be light volume. Uh, we go into the gold market. We take a look at the GDX. Uh, GDX has already rejected lower price out here. GDX got down to 2341. You're at 2371. You had volume in the move yesterday. It took out the swing point, took it out with volume. That sets up a move uh, up to the, let's see, 2089. It's almost three bucks. So 25, 20. Let's say 25 bucks. Yeah. That sets up a move up to the uh, April 13th, the swing high at least, which is 24.88. And uh, thus far this morning, it has uh, rejected uh, lower price. Uh, XAU, HUI, same type of setup. Both of those moved with the force yesterday. Uh, we're at 87.12 in the XAU. And if we put this up, watch this, we're going to be surprised with this volume, I bet. Yep, there she is. Look, it's pretty intense. So the volume is there in the XAU is 55 million, and you're going into 45 million. The swing point is 45, you're pushing 55, which is a beautiful thing. We go to the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index uh, trading 203. That had volume of 42 million versus 33. Nice setup. Confirmed ABC structure on the way up. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 44. Nasdaq's up 19. S&P's are up 250. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now.
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have uh, Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ up uh, 19, s and P's up 3, and look who's back. Hello, hello. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. So, Let me get my voice ready back in. <laughs> so how's Andy Heck? How's Las Vegas? How's it's, the poker tournament? It was great. It was more beautiful than Florida, that's for sure, man. I come back to almost a storm monsoon. outside. Yeah, yeah, monsoon, exactly. But beautiful, lots of sunshine, lots of fun. Thanks to my man, Andy Heck. Good. Inviting me out there, and it was a good time, for sure. Yeah. Good to be back. Good to be home, of course. Good to be in my own bed, but great time, for sure. We've had some, you know, it's amazing, folks. We've had uh, we've had more rain in the last three days than we had all of May. I do. It's yeah. amazing. I mean, but this morning was really... It's um, monsoons It took me out, about yeah. an hour to get in here. I mean, you're talking about Tampa has flooding, too, when you get that kind of rain. Yeah. And, man, literally monsoon, not even exaggerating. We yeah. need it. Yeah. So, hey, it's uh, Wednesday. We gotta yeah. go, we're going to go over the Let's oil market. Let's jump right into it, man. Perfect. Okay. we got some, some oil numbers, right? EIA coming out. And what yes. do we have? We had API last night. API was last night. That was, was a little night. bit of a disappointment. Was that correct? What was? Yeah, what was, there, was a, there, was a, there was a drawdown. Yeah. But they sold it off anyway. I mean, okay. it, they sold it off uh, like 45 cents. So let's jump in here right away. We got commodity spreads. We got crude oil. Let's jump around to the 11 o'clocks first. Oil's trading at 47.69. We're looking at the July contract. So what's going to be nice here is we do have one that line up 47.75 if we wanted. Okay. So you're only talking about seven, eight pennies away from where we're trading at right now. Yeah. Here's the one to the positive side. Here's the one to the negative side. Let's see what kind of action they have in premium. So positive one. We're going to be paying 14. Now that's the one that's a little bit out of the money. Yeah. So right away, we do this before, right? We're probably going to be paying 14 cents premium plus the five cents in intrinsic value, give or take, so yeah, 20. So 34, not yep. bad. You're talking about not bad as these usually come in, right? And it's nice that it's only five pennies away from that strike price. And that's why it's on the more affordable side as to when we look these up. You know, very rarely are we able to do both sides for under about $30. That's right. as cheap as it gets. So 34 right. for both sides, you're only talking about 34 cents of movement in the price of oil. Not bad, as we know, for no, 11 o'clock. because it has been moving quite a bit. Sure, yeah, some volatility. Um, and let's just jump real quick. I like to take a look at the 12 o'clocks. So here's here's what's interesting. Let's just see. They have the same exact point. Okay. But let's just say if you want to, what, yeah. what do you have to pay? One hour, for an hour. Right. What do you have to pay for an hour? Exactly. So here we go. We're buying this one. This is cool. When it's like... So instead of 14, we're paying 17 for the positive one. Yeah. Three dollars. Three pennies, okay? And we're probably paying the same, I was just going to say, the same three pennies over here. If it's three pennies on this side, three pennies over here. Yeah. So guess what? You want to pay six extra cents, you have an extra hour. Yeah. That seems a little attractive right now ahead it of the is. news. It uh, is. It is. It is So attractive. you're talking about, you know, what is that, 30, 40. 40. Yeah. 40 till noon or 34 till 11 o'clock. That's where it's great, where you get to make that decision, right? And you yeah. Get, but at least that way you're familiar. You know your options. You know what you're looking at. And we're at 47... 69. 47.70. Um, we're looking at the July contract on Nadex. Okay, so that one's jumping to August. That's what, oh, interesting. But that's okay. okay. It's They're going to move in tandem. They're just a little bit away from... It seems like the August contract C is 20 cents about above where... I'll pull the July there we go. up. Okay, okay. Yeah, perfect. So... So if I looked at this one, the question would be, does it get down to there, which is 18? Oh, that's a big move. 47.18. Yeah, because 47.75 is the point we're using again. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that, wow, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if it got down there, that would be $57 about. Yeah, right. Um, which so isn't bad if you're putting up 34, no, putting up 40. It's, it's not. And see, you now what's interesting here, folks, is this. So watch this. See, that was the strength, right? Sure. It goes up on the strength. Now, we just came back into that with 10,000 contracts versus, like, 15. So it's like, okay, that's building cause there. I'm, you know. And let me just see, where's the high yesterday, just for a good feeling? Because, I mean, those two highs, that might be a reason. Yep. In the, where are we looking? Yeah, 4840, call it. Yeah, 4840. That's not bad as well. That's 65 cents above where that, that pivot point would be. Right. Um, not bad. Not yeah. bad. We'll see where and that was quite so that was the API number right now. Yeah, last yes. night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we'll see where that checks out. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on yeah. that. Well, and the reason I'm gonna pass on that, let me just show you that again. Sure, so the, the the 
my take is that, yeah, it wants to go lower. But when you're coming into strength like this, it just went to the top of strength. So it's like, you know what? That can bounce around here for a while before it can get down to the bottom sure, of strength. Sure, sure. But the bottom of strength would be that 4726 area. So, so when you were out there yesterday, gold caught a nice bid. I, I, not, I was going to well, say, you're, I, you're heard, with, I you saw. with Andy. Yeah, yeah I saw. Right, well, right. I, I couldn't help, never regardless right. of whether I was with Andy or right. not. I no, pulled I know. up and check I it out, man. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I saw, man. There was, there was some good gold action for sure. Yeah, and, and the, the, the equities caught a bid on top of it. Now, okay. You know, we had the, the, the gold contract had been, you know, moving up. Folks, okay, but you know, last week it moved up, but guess what? The equities didn't move, but the mo equities moved with a big time yesterday. Uh, XAU, HUI, they all moved. They they took out the B points, took them out with volume. That's so move, yeah. this is going to be interesting, and the dollar just continues to. Um, it just they're selling it, man. Yes, they're, they're selling it in a big way. Look at that volume there yesterday. So we did yeah. 55.6 million, 87.39, 88. 45 million. So sure. it's a nice setup. Quite a move. Yeah. Um, good old King Dollar is uh, continues to have selling problems. <laughs> um, this move this morning, right when yeah. I was doing the update. Look at the move this morning, wow. right when I was doing the update. And so I have no idea what happened, folks, okay, but this thing went from 96,940 to 96,575. Man. Yeah. And what, was, what time was this at? And that was six at six. In the morning. Yeah, it was at six in the morning. And what yeah. was that? that and was look something. what it's going into, though. The, uh, the, it's going into the seller from sure. the June second. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, there's been there's been f some fast moves. Yeah. And what time is that? I was curious. Nine forty. Yeah. 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 Uh, we go over to the yen. The yen is what got uh, gold going. Um, Big day yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You know, the the yen. You can see that what happened there. Sure. <laughs> And that was in the overnight session, which hadn't happened for a while. Okay. You know, the the end folks went from 110.43, and by the time we opened in the morning, we were at uh, 109.30, and that's what actually put the nice juice behind that uh, commodity move out here yesterday. Uh, interest rates still going down, man. You know, <laughs> regardless of what the Fed's doing. Look at yeah. this. So we're at the low of the last six months right now. Uh, 2.145, not yep. bad. Right, and that yeah. hit yesterday. Yeah. Uh, if watch this, if you go, this is interesting. If you go, we're just about in the middle now. Okay. Okay. Meaning the middle of the range, folks. So we're just a little above it. One point three five. Man, that's a remarkable low. Isn't God, it? Yeah. It is a remarkable <laughs> low. I know. One point three five. It's almost. It's hard to comprehend. It is. It is. And the high was two point six. It's all you know. At two point one five, it's almost hard to comprehend. Two point six now. Yeah, true. that's you know huge, huge percentages. Yeah, um, you know movements. Yeah, so yeah, our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Bottom line, um, oh hell, yeah. Amazon. So I was just looking at Apple. Perfect. Let's yeah. jump around. Amazon still hanging at the thousand. Got yep. the thousand and sixteen yesterday. Not bad. Uh, Google the voting shares had got over a thousand yesterday. End of the prior day. It's a thousand dollar party, man. It's a thousand dollar party, man. No <laughs> doubt. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. We'll have those oil numbers for you. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 38. Nasdaq's up 16. S&P's are up one and a half. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, we're back, man. Yeah, we are back. And, so uh, here's, here's the number. We haven't even looked at the chart. They rose 3.3 million barrels. The estimate was a decline right. of like 3 million barrels. Right. Let's let's hold the anticipation. Yeah, that means there's seriously. 6 million left. Ready for the chart? Where is it? 4690. Chart? I already see it. Let's get the chart up. Yeah. We were just at 47675. We've dropped almost a dollar. Yep. So that number that where that strength was, that's where it gets its yeah. Oh, it's way beyond that already. No, I know. Oh yeah. my god. Look at yeah. that. That was that was. I, I like being able to pull up a chart and just just saying how far has it dropped, not not what's it going to do, right? I yep. mean that's a huge huge miss. Um, right. Man, oil. Not that it could be in trouble, but that's that's going to. I mean, look at that. Well, it, it that's just quite a five minute bar we're looking at there. The, the Pretty thing, remarkable. Yeah, and the thing that's intriguing is that immediately it just took the S and P from positive two to negative this. Well, sure. Minus one. Do you want to jump to the XLE and uh, see what? Uh, yeah. So if we take a look at the XLE, yeah, that thing just <laughs> gave it up too. Um, let's see. Yep. Yeah. So we just went from uh, 6603 uh, to 6539. And we're um, going lower, I bet, even from here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, watch this. Exxon, uh, bottom line, this this broke on. Uh, last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no, Thursday, Friday, yeah, Thursday broke the whole thing with volume. This is an ABC down. So is in Chevron. So is Chevron, rather. Okay. Um, you know, this this oil business, they're they're in trouble. They're, yeah, you know. I mean now it's really not dangerous, but man, when you start to get away from that fifty dollar, and yeah, look at it, it's not stopping. <laughs> right. You start to get away from that fifty dollar level. Yeah. Um forty five is calling. Right. And and we might hit forty five today, man. I mean this is not stopping. We were just at forty seven seventy five. We're a buck twenty five down in the last two minutes. Right. Um pretty remarkable for sure. Yeah. And you Should know took that I was, we, we would have had the full well here's what I was thinking in my yeah. head, right? Is that no, okay, they did. I was wondering, you could have done the $3 ones. I'm sitting here saying, you know what? Those spreads aren't even big enough to, to capture this entire move potentially today. Yeah. Usually a buck 50 would be. Um, but man, we're already down a buck 25, as in you only had profit potential down to, what was it? Let's see, where's the noon ones? Down to 46.25. We're only a quarter away from there. Yeah. And let's just see where these are trading at right now. This would be a good, this would be a good gauge. So, yeah. 
Man, so that that would be nice. You could take your money off there. As in, I would. You know what I mean? You're not paying. You're not paying a lot to take your money off there. As in, you could buy that back at forty six sixty two when only paying ten cents. Right. You know, and you're you're only giving up thirty seven dollars for your one thirteen. But realistically, you're only paying ten dollars to take that trade off. I would. You know right. what I mean? Because guess what? We know you get that type of move. You could easily have a recoil. You know, sure. just back up there. And sure. and if you're just unfortunate enough where it happens to recoil right around eleven o'clock. That's unfortunate, but man, quite a bar. Quite a bar. Quite a bar. How about Apple? Can we look at Apple? Because they had their conference, of yeah. course, while I was out there. I was The HomePad. Yeah, we'll see, right? $349. I, know. I heard the speaker's pretty cool. It better be pretty it cool. It better $350, be good. Right? So, the, so what happens, folks, if you didn't see this, Tim Cook, they had Tim Cook out. He's claiming this is the best speaker in the world. I'm, I'm sitting there laughing, saying it better be the best speaker in the world because you don't have anything else there. Yeah, what are those uh, Amazon dots like? Forty-five dollars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Nothing basically. And, right. And to three fifty. But in fairness, get what? Guess what? That dot is not something you want to use to play music through. No, or something no, like no, that. So no. it is interesting to right. see how maybe. That's right. That's right. I don't know. They got some. I think they the, got some the, the up larger to do. one though, uh, the Alexa okay. actually. Okay. The echo. It is a speaker. The is the echo okay? Yeah, yeah. Is, is actually a speaker. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Amazon. We know Amazon always gets premium price for their product. That's Apple why they make some. Uh, yeah, Apple no, no, right? Yeah. Apple, Apple, exactly. Apple that's, that's, that's Amazon's the one who just beats everybody yeah, on price. It's, right. You know, they're both going to where they their their bread exactly. and butter. You know, it's it's Amazon beats everyone on price, delivers. Apple delivers the premium product that you pay premium price for. Right. They know their niche. Oh, they do. Yeah. And you know, it's going to be interesting. Just looking at this out here today, the reason being is that all these highs, you know, we had the first high up with 26 million, the second high with 27, yesterday with 26. We'll see what we can do today. Sure. It's having a hard time getting over there. And I saw part of that, I didn't watch the whole speech and the whole announcement, but part of it is you can do person to person money transfers now, yeah. part of Apple Pay. So it's intriguing to see how that, they could start eating into that payment industry a lot more i think with they, having everybody having their card on there having you know i have an apple pay card right i don't really use it as much as and i have a credit card tied to apple pay right? right you can use apple pay it just builds your card when they first were going to start integrating that uh i have some friends who are credit card processors right. and they were petrified that apple would just cut credit cards out of the business period period right. Right. And realistically, that's probably just a matter of time until they start well, competing. I mean, why do you need Visa and okay. MasterCard if you just use your phone and Apple runs their own? When we when we get off the air today, you can uh, Google today, folks. It's a great article. It's uh, by Tom Friedman, I think, in the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times. Sure. Okay. Um, I was like, he doesn't work for the Journal. Yeah, I think he um, works for the Times. New York Times. Yeah. Gr great article. And what it's about is China. They're so far ahead of this electronic payment thing. And that, yeah. What it's about is what you're just saying, that everyone has phones yeah. and you just hit phone to phone for sure. transfer of money, sure. including, now this is what's in the article, which is so cool. So the bag is on the streets. This is how big it is and how integrated it is in the system. The bag is on the streets in their bowl, right? Have, um, you know, what are the price bars? A scan? A scan. So okay. everyone has their own scan. You sure. have your scan, I have my scan. Sure. They have their scan, and it's in the in the bowl, and you take your phone and you scan it. Pretty remarkable. That, that's how integrated it is. Sure. Okay? There you so, go. Uh, that's, that makes sense, man. No, it does. I know. That makes sense. There's no doubt about that. The, uh, yeah, so that um, is, is pretty wild watching this thing shake out. Let's go. I want to take a look at the S and P's. Uh, just so we got that little goal. I mean that uh, oil down. Oh the, yeah, it hit the S and P's. Anytime yeah, you get a drop like that, it right? just hit them quick. So we just went from uh, twenty four thirty four. Yep. Uh, to twenty four thirty. Yep. Uh, we have. Uh, let's see. And this this bar here, there's some volume on it. We'll see whether it can stay at those lows. The lows were twenty four uh, twenty four twenty eight. Okay. Um, and that's, there's, some, there's some good volume there. It, it didn't affect the uh, NQs. The NQs are like uh, Teflon. The whole market's like Teflon, too. <laughs> you know, but bo bottom line is that we'll, we'll see where exactly this uh, is shaking out. Uh, we, we know in the summer trading, we only have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I suspect that tomorrow, uh, we got to find out what, what we got to ask these targets. What time is that uh, hearing starting? Yeah, because. 
all day, 24-7 to my... No, 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 Is it? No, no, no. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be, it might as well be, right? It's all mm -hmm. anyone's going to be talking about from the morning to the, but no, I agree. We should know what time he... The, the actual, day. yeah, the actual yeah. testimony is going to make a difference. Yes. Now, yes. what's also going on, this is what's going to be really a trip tomorrow, folks, is that the ECB has a big day tomorrow. Uh, so that is going to make a difference okay. also. Sure. Because it's going to be like, a, what, how is this euro going to get pushed around tomorrow? Sure. You know, yeah. because the, the euro is, is a big number. There's no, yeah, the, there's no doubt about it. Um, you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You get the dial right now. 15, NASDAQ's up 13. SAP's uh, flat. We're going to be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Our Dow right now uh, is up four, Nasdaq's up seven, S&P's are down one and a half, and you get the, this oil is uh, just pushing on the market a bit. Pretty remarkable. So we're up at almost 47.70 right before the news, yep. and we were looking at the 47.75 contracts. Here's the noon one. So this is the longer one, as in we have till noon. Yes. And just to give people a glimpse, so 46.25 is our max profit, right? Buck 50. We're at 46.07, so we're 17 cents below there. Yes. If we had gone short here, I would be taking my money. For if sure. I would, you're only missing out on $8 right. of potential profit. Yep. 
you're locking in 142. The whole right. trade costs us about 40. Right. So you're making, you know, two and a half times on your money. And guess what? I mean, that's not a lot of premium where if this just kind of, you're telling me that by noon, people don't realistically think it can go to 4634. That's like right here. You know, to right. put things on, just that that's right. unrealistic. We've seen this market enough. I would be taking my money oh, sure. off. And that's where it's good to know, though, what kind of premium that you'd have in it. And that's not a lot of premium. And, you know, guess what? You could make that trade right now on the bullish side, too. Almost. Yeah, you that's could. That's not a lot no. of money well, to, you know, you know, to lock in until noon and look for a bounce is, above 46 25 That's what's so funny. When you, when you got it on one side, you could just say, okay, I'll, I'll pay eight cents and go on the other side now. Right, right, right. right. And guess what? If you would do that, that's almost, that's the same as closing the trade. Yes. You know, right, right. but that's right. why it seems so attractive. Right. That's why I would close it because right. it seems so attractive on the other side, exactly. Now, with that said, I could see it just falling all day, but that type of risk reward, with a huge profit, only costing you forty. Yeah, and you're only talking an hour and a half. Only right? as in like, whoof, yeah. who knows what could happen? Oh, an hour there, and a half there, in oil. There, there's no doubt. Yeah, there's no doubt. And yeah. when we take a look at this, uh, now we'll put this up on a higher. You, you're going to see. You get the volume that's coming into this. The volume is huge right now. Oh, I bet. I you mean, know? that's. I mean, even for the EIA number, that's a huge buck fifty yep. move in ten minutes. Is and so what we, do, what we also have is this, folks, is that the, the high of the low, we remember this day because we were on the air when this was happening, that's when it moved down $3 and then come all the way back up $3, the, sure. the oil was market. That, was that OPEC that was, meeting? It was either. Might have been the OPEC. Yeah, it was something that they were pushing. I think you it know. was the OPEC meeting. I could be it, wrong. It went down to $44.45 and ended up going all the way up to $47.33. Yeah. Now, what you have is this, folks. You're into the highs of that, and you're into it good. You're into it by a dollar. So your probability is you're going down to the bottom. You know, hey, and we'll that see type of a miss on the numbers, and man, it would be hard pressed to get some acceleration to the upside when totally. you're talking about, you know, instead of three million one way, you get three million the other way in terms of right. yeah. And you know what's going to be intriguing, which is that we know we have lots of oil. You have the shale happening. You have all of that. You know what. I find so intriguing is that have the are there enough electric cars right now that are making a difference? And there's sure. not there's not a lot of electric cars, no, no. but it is enough that is making a difference, and sure. it very well could be. And if there's enough right now that are making a difference, folks, we are going to have very inexpensive oils because sure. I, I believe there's only like 20 million of them. There's, I you know I just I have no grasp of the fundamentals of what that yeah, I, I means was, to the market. So I just don't, I'm not almost, you I know, know what I, and, I just, and 20 million is not a lot. That's, well, that's why I, I, I mean, you could, we, we should look at the actual statistics of what those cars make up versus, you know what I mean? Yeah, to, to be which versus, is, it's still small. That's, right, that's, that's the, the, the point is it's tiny, you know, and if in fact that is bringing down consumption, uh, that's going to be like a heads up beyond belief because all these big car companies are going to get, uh, they're getting into it. Sure, electric. sure. You, you know, know, a miss on the EIA though, is not to do with electric cars, you know, week to week. That's all. You know what I'm saying? That the, the analysts that put out that estimate, they know how many electric cars are on the road, and they still missed it by 6 million barrels. You know, there's other forces at work for, for that type of a miss on the EIA. No? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I, but I, the I, analysts do. That's my point. The, the median analyst estimate, they know how many electric cars are on the road. They know, and that's where they make their estimates from. And they're still missed by six million barrels, right. which means so we weren't other, driving as much. What? That, that, well, we don't know because it's, it's still it's, well, it's still crude oil too. That's it's not. A, that's what yeah. I mean. There's a million. That's right. what. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go take a look at uh, the the Walmart versus uh, Amazon here. So Walmart's still hanging at the highs too. Yeah. Uh, you know the big winner out here uh, with Uber is McDonald's. Okay. So when you were gone, right? Yep. McDonald's, the the Uber Eats is so successful, they are pushing out another three thousand stores with Uber Eats. Okay. Isn't it? Yeah, I believe. You. Remember, we had a conversation a while back where I said I was just taking a regular Uber, and that the driver was saying they're doing mostly Uber Eats and they're doing mostly McDonald's or or fast food, but mostly yep. McDonald's. Yeah. Yep. It had. Uh, they they had You're the back to June first. It might be a different. That's okay, going, they they had the oh, they're, they're, uh, where? the one you can, McDonald's is the king of drive through, but that's about to change in a big way. Or this one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. Yep. 
So its delivery service will be available at more than 3,500 locations by June, and right now they have 2,000 locations. Yeah. So they're up in it. Isn't that? Yeah, it, it, we're, it, they're encouraged by early results in the U.S. where delivery is resonating customers. well, particularly with our younger customers. Yeah. Everybody, you know, I was in college once. Everybody said, man, why doesn't McDonald's deliver? Oh, right. totally. <laughs> it's, you know, it, the thing that... Yeah, I mean McDonald's should have figured it out. All they're all they're getting is they're getting middled by Amazon. When you think about that, yeah. McDonald's was a big enough company to incorporate a delivery service into their own thing, and they're allowing Amazon to swoop in and. and you mean Uber? Yeah, Uber. Sorry, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah, Amazon's no, I, on my head. No. Exactly. But they, you know they have no no cost. And that's the other side of it. It is, but Which, they're losing out on, on a potential profit that, oh, yeah. that Uber is taking, yeah. where they could have had their own people. I mean, yeah, I yeah, know. you know that's they, they, it's 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 the amazing part is that how many sandwiches they're going to sell. Yeah. And especially on the weekends, man. Yeah. Everyone just shows up. Oh, my God. Yeah. Forget Wake it. up after a night of partying and say, man, I could just use a couple Egg McMuffins. Yeah. Maybe a Big Mac. No. <laughs> and it shows up at your door in 10 minutes. Oh, my God. Got to love technology. Let's go over to the GDX. So the GDX out here this morning, folks, is operating again. Uh, this little baby got down to 2341. You're at 2370 right now. Um, you know, so that's staying up at its highs. If we go to Barrick, which is the largest waiting structure in there, that's uh, hanging at its highs. Newmont, which was the dog, had a big day yesterday. Look, yeah. at this, look at this Newmont. So Newmont, let's go look at this. So Newmont took out its swing points with 8 million shares. The swing point had 6.4. It's going for another swing. This is really, this is, it's amazing how you can go from a dog to getting strength. and. I suspect what this is, and this is where the difference comes in very large companies versus mid-sized and small companies, is that when you get gold that caught a nice bid, yeah. it makes a huge difference in the company's bottom line, like for Newmark, because they have they do millions of ounces of gold, sure. not thousands. Sure, right. And right. so guess what? You get you yeah. get gold in the process of two days going from 1261 to 1295. Yeah. Now, you, now you're talking. Yeah. 35 um, buck, bucks for yeah. every every extra ounce they're pulling out, and, just right to their bottom and line. And they're working 24 hours a day. That's the bottom line. Yeah. You know what? What does happen is that they they run on a 30 day average. That's how they normally sell to the uh, okay gold banks. That would make sense. Yeah. You because know what I mean? That way they're not worried about what second they're getting right. priced at. Up and down. Right. Up and right. down. Let's just He's, jump over. Take a quick 46. Continuing to drop. Look at that. Uh, 46. Inexpensive oil. We're going to be driving everywhere. <laughs> Dow Industrials right now uh, up two. Nasdaq's up 12. S&P's off a buck and a half. We're going to be right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you, uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 7. NASDAQ is uh, it's up 7. NASDAQ's up 13. S&P's a flat. Uh, let's go over and take a look at Exxon and Chevron. Yeah, so Exxon gave up uh, the price. Nothing heavy, but still a lower price. Just oh, like when, Chevron's going. I was just going to say, just like when we talk about the gold companies, when they get to sell all their gold for 35 bucks extra, yep. if you're an oil company and you're selling oil at $47, guess what? Ten minutes later, you're selling it at $46 today. Yep. That's and tough. So, and they're selling millions of barrels. They right? are. <laughs> they are. And, you know, this is this is big problems for yep. the XLE because yep. Chevron's leading on the way down. Yep. Are, you know, it broken... That swing point of 103.83, did that last week, had volume on the break, tested it yesterday with light volume, and now you're breaking down. And what's remarkable, just looking at that chart, I mean, that never got a bump when oil climbed all the way back up to above. Now, and, that, and we went over it many times. Yeah, but, yeah. but that is the thing to right. keep your eye on, that right. when oil actually even went up, that the equities, right. the even oil, the XLE and yeah, the Chevrons, they never they, quite got the same upward they, movement. They couldn't do it, and that's saying quite a bit. That's where the stocks were leading the, the physical commodity. If we go take a look at some of these commodities out here, crude, look at this, oh my God. So crude's down 4.4%, 4%. Gasoline, with unleaded, is at 148. That's down 38 Yeah. And what's remarkable Diesel is... Diesel is down 2.9. And most of that $2.16. Now, that one up there, I believe, is the August contract. Yes, it is. But, I mean, still, there was only... I think we're only down about 30 cents to begin, as in most of that movement is all since the, the um, inventory's come It is. Yeah. And, you know, if we take a look at this chart now, now, this is the active contract. Um, and what you have here uh, right now is that you... Yesterday we did 217,000 contracts. We've already done 162,000 contracts. Now, how does is is that including the API number last night volume? When does that volume start? I believe it is right because oil closes that, at 2:30. That's correct. So, so it would, it would start up. At, I mean, just the, start up at. 2.30. Yeah, because yeah. The, the pit closed at 2.30, right. so it started up at 2.30. So just there was, you know, some volume last night already right. coming in, and then, yeah, this is really going to throw some fuel on that fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you can see in this one here, you're coming, I mean, this low is, like, we're right next to it. 44.45. Yeah. Two bucks. Same and thing. We just went two bucks in yeah. 15 minutes, so. Yeah. And if we go look at this now, this is where it's going to get, put this on a continuous contract for a second. Yeah, it's going to the lower end of the consolidation. That's forty three seventy six. We'll see yeah. whether it holds. It doesn't hold. Guess what? Forty bucks, right? That's game. Forty, your favorite that, number. That 40. thing, that thing is dangerous down there at thirty nine nineteen. Sure. Watch out. Sure. You know, stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next, and then we're going to Thinker Swim headquarters. Uh, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, myself. I'll be back. And uh, bottom line is that uh, this market's still going flat. Um,
So I'll tell you, Las Vegas, the yeah. uh, the poker community is doing well, at least. That's that's for yeah. sure. I was telling you about some of the, um, and what happens. So the, the World Series is going on out there. They start, they have a bunch of tournaments. They probably have 60 that run, right? Okay. And the main event that everyone's familiar with, the $10,000 buy-in where yeah. they crown the champion, that's around July 10th. Okay. So they got a long way to go. Um, but man, talk about money. Vegas, Everywhere. Vegas, Vegas invites cash. You know that. But um, for the World Series, you got poker players all over the world. The cash is flying, and it seems like the economy's doing well. And and oof, there's Vegas is busy, that's for sure. And you know, and I, I'm sure it's always busy. But man, it's it's always interesting. As in, you know, Monday night, I'm walking out of the Rio, whereas yeah. where they have the World Series. I'm walking out at about one in the morning Vegas time. It's Monday night, right? Probably the calmest night of all. As yeah. Sunday rocks in Vegas, right. so Monday night probably is. One in the morning, it's not like a, a seat at a table in terms of, now these are the craps, blackjack, roulette, wow. rocking, Monday, Monday, Monday night, every seven and seven nights a week, man. I love it. Got up. Stay right there, folks. I'm Amos Basil Chapman's coming up next. Dow's up 15, Nasdaq's up 15, S&P's a flat. That was a Thanks, quick bro. hour, man. Love you. Oh. Go get them, folks. <laughs> Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.